Are you thinking of adding Peace Lotheria to your Tarantula collection, but you haven't yet because you've heard about their fearsome reputation and it's sending chills down your spine? Or are you about to do a rehouse and you're not feeling really confident about it? Well, don't worry. In today's video, here's my top five tips on rehousing Peace Lotheria. So tip number one in this Peace Lotheria rehousing made easy video is equipment. The key to any rehousing, doesn't matter which species is, it is at all, is equipment. And the most essential part of this, catch cups, catch tubes. I like to, when I'm rehousing, have several different ones around the table because you never know what situation you're going to get into when rehousing the spider and you never know which size or shape is going to be the most beneficial. Now I do prefer this tarantula rooms catch tube that you've seen me use in every single one of my videos. I think this is very, what's the word? very multifunctional and very helpful and it also helps because of the size of it you can rehouse slings juveniles adults and it's just so versatile so this is my go-to catch tube but sometimes this may not be adequate it may not fit inside an enclosure properly it may cause its own problems so you may need something like your standard catch cup like this or even like this like an old takeaway tub just you know if the tarantula decides to bolt it's easy just to place something like this over the top so you can catch the spider also when it comes to equipment a lot of people like to use a paintbrush or something soft in order to get the spider out of the in old enclosure and into the into the catch tube me personally i use one of these this is you know i forget what they call these it's a, like a bald pointer that they use in schools to point at like white boards and stuff to highlight it but the reason why i like this is it has a nice foam tip on it which is soft and is not going to injure the spider and also if it's like a species that you know is prone to bolting or is very defensive or something like that you can add a little bit more distance between yourself and the spider when you're trying to coax it into a catch tube so for me this is better than a paintbrush if you use a paintbrush that's fine this is just my own personal preference and then the last bit of equipment that you really need with everything, feeding, rehousing, tongs, these can come in handy to move bits out of the way inside the old enclosure, i.e. bits of cork bark, webbing, stuff like that. So that's the basics of point one, equipment. So the second most important thing when it comes to rehousing Peace Lotheria is understanding Peace Lotheria behavior. Now, when you open up the lid or you touch the enclosure, what the piece of theria is going to try and do, it'll run around the enclosure trying to find a hiding spot. It'll dart inside and then, then it will lay flat like this and try and camouflage in with its background. Thing is, Peace Lotheria, they think you're a predator when you go in and you disturb them and all their mind is on it is trying to escape and trying to hide. It's very rare you come against a Peace Lotheria which straight away becomes very defensive. As you can see, this one had been hidden away for a little while. It was laying flat. Now it feels more comfortable inside the enclosure it's doing what it wants to do see this is typical behavior right here as you just saw they tend to run around they don't tend to run up the enclosure and out they can be very pre predictable piece of theoria, once you learn that behavior the third tip when rehousing piece of theoria is plan in advance anything that can go wrong now i'm not saying that every time 
you rehouse a piece of Furia, it's going to be flawless. There may be times where, you know, you have a judgment of error. The tarantula may bolt. It may get out of the enclosure. The main thing to do is not panic there. But also it's very important to plan out when moving the tarantula from its original enclosure into the next enclosure where it's going. It's like here I'm using an Exoterra 8 by 8 by 12 I've got it set up as a standard arboreal setup it's important to know it does have a front opening and also a top opening now i like this for rehousing piece lefuria because it allows me more access into the enclosure when rehousing but like in this case if the top's off i need to be aware that there's the front and also the top as easy as it is for me to access the enclosure it's just as easy for the tarantula to come out the top come out the front and then you've got a tarantula on the loose which again isn't a problem what piece of theory tend to do is bolt for a couple of seconds stay still hunker down and flatten out they never tend to run out of an enclosure fly across the room and you never see them again it doesn't really happen so planning what the spider's going into and how you're going to move it from a to b that's the three most important things preparing for a rehouse the fourth most important thing is keep calm I can't stress it enough that during a tarantula rehousing, the calmer you keep yourself, the calmer the tarantula will be when it comes to being rehoused. Now, tarantulas are covered in tiny little hairs that pick up vibrations. So they actually do sense if you're tense, if you're panicking, they do sense like you're, if you breathe heavier or if you move quickly, all those little hairs, they pick up on that. So that's why it's very, very, very important when rehousing Peace Lefiria that you keep as calm as possible. If you do that, you'll have a piece of theria that won't fret posture you won't bolt around you'll just be calm and you'll be able to get it straight from its old enclosure into the catch cup of your choice which I'm having difficulty doing now but it makes it a hell of a lot easier And the last but not least tip that I'm going to give you when it comes to rehousing Peace Lefiria is just take your time. You don't need to rush it just to try and get it over with as quickly as possible. It ties in with the last tip. If you just take your time and you're calm and patient, the tarantula is less likely to give you any aggravation. If you take your time with it, another bonus is you get to enjoy this amazing species. They are beautiful and they are becoming more and more rare in the wild. So it's up to us to make sure that we keep them properly and rehouse them effectively. This one's giving me the run around. And the thing is, they're so reclusive, such reclusive animals, that during rehouses is normally the only time you're ever really going to see them to make the most of it enjoy it 
like I said, take your time. The spider will pick up on your vibe. And the calmer you are, the easier it will be to get your piece Lefiria from the old enclosure into the new one. Hopefully you found this helpful. So those were my top five tips for rehousing Peace Lefiria. Once you learn their behavior, you learn to keep calm while doing rehousings, you'll find that they are an absolute joy to keep and there's no reason to be worried. So hopefully this video was very helpful and you subscribe to the channel to enjoy more content like it. If you liked it, make sure to comment down below as well and give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna end the video here. So have a great day, have a great week, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're looking for more content to watch, maybe this one's for you. See you later.